I'm trying to mock this up a little bit, figure out where I'm going to place the radi radiator. I don't know if I'm going to go like this or like this. I'm just kind of trying to figure out where my loops are going to go, where's the best place to bend and all that stuff. I think I've figured out how the loop is going to go. That's a tight fit, but I think it's going to work. I actually had to take out this spring, this, like this one, and just put a straight bolt there, which works because the plexiglass still is providing some like springage. Another thing is that in the Mini Tower 780, I had the pump going to the CPU first, and then to the GPU, and in this one, it's going to be a lot cleaner run if I go from the pump to the GPU first. Basically I'll go from these two right here, this one and this one, line up almost perfect. So I mean I could just get a 90 right here and do a straight shot or I can do a little bend. I'm sure that wouldn't be too hard. But it's basically going to pull from the reservoir, pump here, go to the GPU here, pump out here and then I'm going to bring it along here plug it into the CPU, CPU will come up here to the bottom of the radiator then I'll take it out the top and bring it back over here to the reservoir. So it kind of seems like a, a pretty clean layout, pretty clean loop. I have this little radiator just sitting on a little cardboard box right now. It's kind of wedged between the cardboard box and this top, top lip but that's pretty much where it's going to go. It looks like it's all going to fit. I don't want to obstruct the airflow either with any with too many tubes in front of the fans, but I mean it is what it is. It's got to be that way. Now that I have this radiator where I want it and I know that my, you know, lines are going to be where they're going without obstructing stuff, I need to basically mark where my holes are going to be and I either need to flatten out this little spot so it's easy to mount a, a screw and up in here I'm going to have to cut it. I think I'm going to cut it right here and then flatten this tab so I can push it towards the radiator and have a flat surface to screw it to. Let's get started on taking everything out and get this radiator mounted. After I'm kind of marked with a pin where I'm going to cut, I'm going to take my Dremel and put two little slices right here and then cut it across here so it's not attached to the grate anymore. And that's pretty, pretty much where my hole is going to be to mount the radiator. And I'm just going to push that little tab flat so I can screw it in. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one, except that the hole falls in between these two so it's going to be a smaller tab than this one. I just didn't want it to be some weird uh, cut so I kind of evened out. And these ones, this whole little section right here will be cut out because the hole falls pretty much right in the middle of it. And then this one, the hole lines up perfectly with that square so I'm just going to cut this at diagonally right here and flatten that one out. This one's going to need a little uh, plastic you know, bushing or spacer in there to, uh, you know, make sure it's nice and secure and so the radiator sits level. So let's remove the radiator. It's just sitting there on a little, little box, a little piece of box. And let's start cutting. I cut the little slices and drilled the holes cut that little piece out, cut it across there. And somewhat magically, the holes actually lined up. <laughs> that doesn't happen all the time. Still might have to enlarge them a little bit once I push the tab down. I bent the tabs down where I want them. And let's see, 
the holes line up. Sweet. I just got to, and actually I flattened that one out too and it lines up. I just put a washer on it. And then I just have to find the little shim, the little bushing or whatever you want to call it. I'm done mounting the radiator. Put that little plastic bushing in there. I had to chop it down to make it fit. It's not going anywhere. So I had the radiator mounted completely and I decided to put the front plastic face on to see how everything fit. And this screw right here was hitting the, the plastic and I really didn't want to trim up the plastic yet because I don't know what I'm doing with it. So I just went like this. I held this uh, big socket that I have right behind it and hit it with a hammer. Kind of dented it in so the screw head will be recessed a little bit and it won't hit the plastic. But it worked good. I'm sure that's plenty to uh, have that screw head clear. I just wanted to show you that one section that I kind of indented. It's totally almost, eh, it's pretty much flush with the face and the plastic's not hitting it at all. So It worked out good to use that big socket. Now I'm going to take this radiator off and put it to the side because it's uh, done.